cabelos Cor de mel singela So I'm trying to be more intentional with how I work out. And one of the things that I'm doing is in the morning, even if I don't have enough time to do a full workout, as in doing cardio for 20 to 30 minutes, along with doing my traditional strength training, I make sure that in the morning I do cardio so I can get that heart rate going, release some endorphins. And for some reason, doing cardio in the morning gives me the most amount of energy to get through my day. I do switch up the workout though. Let's say I know that I'm gonna play basketball after work. Then I make sure that I do my traditional strength training in the morning with the most amount of time in between the strength training and playing basketball. That way I can actually play without feeling like a bowling ball and having like noodle arms. After working out, I hop right in the shower because I often notice that I feel less creative and less relaxed when I don't shower. Also, more importantly, I want to smell good because I probably stink for real after coming from the gym. As I've progressed through my 20s, which is a nicer way of saying getting older, I've become more intentional with my skincare routine. In the mornings, I first use a moisturizer that contains sunscreen, under eye cream because it's essential, and vitamin C as a brightener and to remove some of my acne scars. I also use acne cream if I have a breakout. So one thing that I've learned is that bad habits follow you to wherever you go. To give you an example, I share some of the same frustrations in our previous apartment where I felt like it was too small and there was a lack of storage and things were just all over the place and there wasn't much that we could do. And now I find myself experiencing that same frustration, but it's not because the place isn't big enough. The place is big enough and there is way more storage, even an extra room. But the main reason is because at night I get really lazy as in I like fall asleep on a couch or just push it off to the next day. And I don't clean up the space at night. And I know I need to take like five to 10 minutes each night and it's not even to like do dishes and stuff. It's just to put things away, not have coats on the floor, or on the dining room table, pillows everywhere and etc. So in the morning, I can wake up with a nice and clean and organized space. Alexa, play lo-fi music. Mo money, mo problems. The station, lo-fi hip-hop radio, free on Amazon Music. One thing I've noticed is that I need lo-fi music in the morning to get me focused for the day and to really get into the zone. I spend way too much time watching sports videos and my excuse was, oh, I'm doing this for fantasy football. So I can start thinking of different strategies, whether it was before we started drafting to having my team already drafted, picking up players on the waiver wire, thinking about trades, players that are skyrocketing, setting my lineups, the best matchups for the week. It doesn't matter because even when I'm not playing fantasy football, I'm playing some other YouTube sports vid related video. Having a clean desk in the morning is so underrated or at least like a desk that's really easy to declutter otherwise you'll just find yourself being like frustrated and not wanting to work from like your monitor and i definitely need to work from my monitor especially since a good portion of my job i still write code what's really nice is that most of my team members are on like west coast or central time so when i'm logging in i don't usually have any meetings unless i'm meeting with some of my coworkers that are in Europe. And I only meet with like one coworker once a week. But we still don't meet that early in the morning. It's usually at like 10.30, I think, or 11 a.m. And they're in Berlin.
the rest of the morning, I'll grab my iPad and use my new favorite note taking and calendar app called Pinbook to jot down some thoughts and create a to-do list for the day. Sometimes I'll even read in the morning for information retention. After creating my daily to-do list and doing some reading, I'll grab either some coffee or tea, which is a great stimulus for myself and it gives me some time to sit with my thoughts. I notice that I get a nice boost in energy and excitement for the day when I make coffee or tea in the morning. I've noticed that I've been a lot less active during the colder months, so I've decided to make sure that I get some fresh air in the morning on top of my cardio by stepping out to one of our rooftops. There are days when I don't step foot outside at all or don't go outside until it's dark, so it's important for me to get some sunlight. I need that vitamin D. I'm extremely grateful to live in this amenity building, which acts as a vertical neighborhood, especially during those winter months when I'm outside less. So that wraps up my morning routine. Comment below what your favorite part of your routine is. I'm curious to know what you guys do in the morning. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out with the algorithm. And as always, have a blessed rest of your week. Peace. Essa fantasia foi um sentimento e a fotografia.